Okay, so we just said in the last exercise that we can use functions in React. Like if we have a function, let's say const, uh, let's call it um, print my name. A function like this, that is gonna, we can make it an arrow or a normal function, it doesn't really matter, and you wanna return your name as an h1, then you can just do it like this, and later, when you're using the react.on.render method, you can say, okay, I want to use react on dot render for this function. And you call the function, so it will return the HTML. And let me copy from the previous one the element that I want to select from the DOM, that it's my div. So I can do this, right? We did it on the last exercise. You can print some HTML and you can call the function. Then we saw that you can also avoid using this syntax like a function you can use it like an html tag and it will also work because that's the magic of jsx and that's how the components in the web start existing like someone said oh let's just have the same functions like tags like html tags and that's a component now and it's really cool if you think about it because then you don't have to call it print my name anymore you can call it label and you can call it label here and now you have your own label tag that doesn't exist in HTML, you just invented it. And it's super cool because you can reuse it and reuse it. But maybe you're thinking, okay, but now how, what can I do now to make that label, label print something else than hello? Because the hello doesn't make any sense. So let's say that I want to put a property text here and I say um, that I'm going to print uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Now I can receive that property here like a parameter in the function text and then I would put text here and and that is pretty much it you know that's how you would receive parameters in a function I'm putting the curlies here because this is really called props it's a, it's an object called props and then here you would put props.text but since uh, JavaScript allows you to deconstruct you can say const text it's equal to props. That's a deconstruction in, in React. So you can in JavaScript you can copy this side and just put it here. And that's it. You don't need you don't even need to say props anymore because you're deconstructing. So this particular exercise is telling us that create a function called bootstrap card. Okay. Bootstrap card. I guess I have to return all of this like a bootstrap card, because bootstrap comes with components. If you go to the bootstrap website, you'll see that it comes with concepts of components. They are not React components, but they are components. In the documentation, you can see he's, these are all the components that you have available. You have, for example, let's say that I have, that I want to use a model. So let me look for a model. And there it is, the model. It's a component in plain HTML. It regards all of this. So you can wrap this now in a function. And that will become a React component. And you do not have to type this, all of this anymore. You can just type model. And it will type all of this for you. It's like a function. Uh, there's another one. That is the, the one we're using on this particular exercise. It's called the card. And it's the typical component for a website. Where you have an image, some title, text, and a button. You don't have to have all of them. You can have some of them only. Like just the image or just a title, or just a description, but that's a card. So in this exercise, we are creating a card, a booster card, like a, like a React component. So we can now do booster card like this, and every time we do, from now on, every time we have the booster card uh, tag in our HTML, it's gonna draw the entire booster card. Let's see if this works. Okay, React on the render needs to be called once, and it's being called. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's done, and that's done. So the component should return the exact HTML. So what am I missing here? Ah, the class and class name. It's always the same problem with the class name. Because you have to put class name instead of class. It's my bad. I always forget about this, and I don't know why, because I code in React every day. It should be the opposite, right? I should always put class name and forget to put it like a class when I'm doing HTML without React. But it is not. I keep forgetting about that. So that's it. Everything is amazing.